welcome friends so let's talk about our new video water and its treatment we will discuss about the uses of water and its useful treatments we know that our body contains 70% of water and we need water to survive so the question is what is water what is water we we drink it we used to wash our clothes always use it but what is the water the question remains our it is the water is h2o held together with hydrogen bonding it is a chemical bond which helps the water molecules to gather to form liquid it is also a chemical molecule the formation is the molecule of two hydrogens and one oxygen hydrogen bonding now let's talk about types of water we know that water has two types soft water and hard water the reason for hardness of water is bicarbonates of magnesium and calcium which is responsible for the temporary hardness and sulfate of magnesium and calcium are responsible for permanent hardness the temporary hardness can be removed easily by the boiling of water but form scale and sludge formation and the permanent hardness cannot be removed easily it needs or requires special treatment like internal treatment and external treatment the treatment like lime soda zeolite process it requires to remove the permanent hardness when the bicarbonates lose their precipitates and it suspend in the water it forms sludge and when sulfates lose its precipitates and the hard adhering coating on inner walls of boiler it forms scale the only difference between scale and sludge is scale is sticky one and sludge is loosely held to the boiler priming and foaming are very important process occur in the boiler we have heard it many times priming and foaming so let's talk about the foaming foaming is the formation of bubbles on the surface of water that prevents the formation of steam is called foaming it acts like a foam on the surface of water hence it is also called foaming and priming is the carry over of droplets of water through the steam is called priming the priming affects the efficiency of boiler to convert it into the steam due to the impurities also carry out through the steam to prevent the priming and foaming anti priming and foaming agents are to be used in the boiler Next talk about hot lime soda process. It is a very important process generally used to remove the impurities of hard water by using lime and soda. We have shown this tank which is used to remove the impurities. It has three inlets for water, steam and chemicals like lime and soda to be used. These are the three, three things combined at the reaction tank and the reaction between impurities and lime soda take place and the impurities settle down as precipitated sludge or scale and the impure and the pure water pass through the sand filter the sand filter contains fine sand layer coarse sand layer and gravel layer this is used as to remove the impurity 
now next comes the cold lime soda process it is also an important process used to remove the impurities from the hard water it is similar to the hot lime soda process but the temperature at this is very low so it has two inlets one for soda lime and coagulates and other is for raw feed inlet which is used to input the hard water now a dry belt removes the motor so that the temperature can down and the reaction can take place between the lime soda and hard water now the sludge formed due to impurities settled down at the end and the water formed passed through the filter and removed out this is also an important process next comes the electrodialysis it is also an external treatment process used to remove the ionic impurities from the hard water it is done in the cell called electrodialysis cell which consists of two electrodes cathode and anode and semi permeable membrane or anionic membranes which are permeable are used in it these semi permeable membranes do not allow ions of opposite charge to move the other surface so that the water can split out of the ions and the water can become pure the pure water is in the even chambers and the impure water is at the odd chambers the impure water then selected from the even chambers now let's talk about the question please see this question and try to understand it now i will solve the question for the purpose of solving it now let's start it out first we will draw these blocks name constituent amount cacao3 equivalent lime required and soda required then we will write the constituents which are provided above the question now i will write all the constituents you can see it and now comes the amount i will write the amount that is present in the question you can see it now the question comes how to calculate cacao3 equivalent it is very simple we have to add the molecular mass of all the compound which are present for example calcium 40 plus hydrogen because chco3 has two times it will we will multiply it two times and then add and it becomes 162 so we will write at the above similarly we will solve all and now i am going to write all the equivalents as you can see i have write all the equivalents you can done at similar way i have told you earlier now n is cl is not responsible for any hardness so we will not calculate for it now we will multiply the amount with the equivalent so that we can get the required amount to be put in the reaction tank for the desired hardness removed we will add two two times the magnesium bicarbonate because in the reaction which take place with the cacl3 it has two times the magnesium and calcium sulfate are not the calcium sulfate and calcium chloride are not removed with lime require lime they only removed with the help of soda so we will add it there now the total lime required for the reaction tank is 100 and for soda it is 75 now we will write it as c is c a h o 2 is the lime formula 74 is its equivalent weight and 100 is the lime required we need 84% so 
we will multiply it with 84 upon 100 let me check it first sorry the 100 will come up and the 84 will come down I want to say sorry for the mistake now the answer after calculation will be 88.09 percent now total soda required is 106 over 100 into 75 into the percentage required we need 92 percent multiply it with 92 I forgot the one thing that we have to also multiply with the liters of so we will multiply it with liter 2000 liter if you like my video like it subscribe it and share it and if you have any suggestions or want to thank me please comment it down don't forget